Okay, children, we are going to now learn how to knit with the needles. Great, super exciting. It's going to be something new for all of us, right? So um, if you haven't un uh, wound your yarn into a ball, you could do that. Um, I've some, some of you, I have done it for you because I had to half the, the yarn. So if you haven't done that, please do that again and play the video once more. So children, please take your yarn, the end of your yarn, and measure as long as your knit one knitting needle, that's one length, right? So that will probably cover at least about eight stitches and add a half, add a half, right? And then from here, do a full other stitch right there. I mean, not a full other, a whole length again. So you have two and a half lengths to start so that we could actually, so we have enough tail to work with. Okay, so take that marker and I will have a story about two frogs. It's very similar to today. And there were two frogs in a pond that wanted to play. And one frog went onto the log and the second frog went onto that log. The first frog leaped up and said, ribbit, let's play. And so the second frog said, wait, 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 wait. I, I can do that too. I'm gonna, I can jump higher than you. So he tried to jump and he did go higher than him, but he fell into the pond. And it was only, <laughs> there was only one frog that was left and he's the one that will be going on to this needle to begin our knitting. Now, there was a boy, his name was Jack, and he wanted to build his house. He needed a house to protect himself from the rains. So he said, okay, I will use three logs, one, two, and three. He uses a bird beak technique to open up to make a roof, a diamond roof like that, like our form drawing. And please place the needle in, f in the middle. And he goes uh, in through the front door. He runs round the back. He leaps through the window and on drums Jack. And the roof, he already has a roof. But he finds out during the next storm that, oh my goodness, it needs some repair. So he does it all over again. One, two, three, three logs. Make sure he uses the bird beak technique to open from a diamond shape. Puts the needle in the middle, goes through the front door, run rounds the back, and leaps through the window. So on again jumps Jack. Once more, two, three, even though it keeps breaking and leaking from the rains, Jack still chooses to do this and makes, opens up the roof and goes up onto the top of the roof again and continues to repair this roof. Once more, three, diamond shaped needle, in through the front door, run rounds the back, leap through the window and off jump jack. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, still, always the rains. 
so but what's great is that Jack knows how to build this opens up like a diamond in through the front door run around to the back leap through the window and off jump Jack once more one two three Jack builds a diamond roof in through the front door run around to the back leap through the window and off jump Jack I like Jack it's all right for him to he knows that he just needs to continue on because storms do come and go, right? So, one, two, three, their beak open, in through the front door, run around the back, leap through the window, and one jumps jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. Same. Open up the diamond roof in the middle, in through the front door, run around the back, um, leap through the window, off jump jack, on jumps jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once more. With three, your beak open the diamond. In through the front door, run around the back, leap through the window, and off jump jack. So we have 10 so far, we want to make 12. Three, bird beak, up, in the middle, in through the front door, run around the back, leap through the window, and on jumps jack. One more. Three, bird beak, open up the window, diamond shape, in through the front door, run around the back, and on is Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it. And it's good. The tail is not too long, not too short. And here we go. Our second story we have two fields of two fields in the farm and Jack would like to move these 12 sheep from a field onto the next field on the on the right so this is the first field and this is the second field and he looks here that there's a front gate and a back gate and he's going to go through the front gate again kind of like the front door earlier and he sticks his needle in there in through the front door now you're not going to use the tail the tail's going to stay behind okay it's the working yarn that you want to use in through the front door, wrap around the sheep, and uh, go out through the front door again, and off we leap. Once more, just pull the tail so it stays on. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, and go throughout the front door again, and off we leap. Through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door, and off we leap. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door, and off we leap. Once more. In through the front door, wrap around the sheet, out, sheep, out through the front door and off 
we leap once more in through the front door, wrap around the sheet, out through the front door, and off we leap. So we have to transfer all the sheep into the second field. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door, and off we leap. Tighten a little bit. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door, and off we leap. The front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door, and off we leap. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door again, and off we leap. In through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door again, and off we leap. Last sheep, in through the front door, wrap around the sheep, out through the front door again. Excellent. Now, in order for us to build what we're building or to finish what we're making, the sheep really have to go back and forth between the two fields. It's almost like they're weaving like this every day. Yes, and if they don't do that, that won't be finished. So we just keep going okay and we will be looking at the rows that we're making and I can show you in another video how to count your rows okay thank you children